Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Arcade Saturday. I'm your host, Nicodemus Kane, and every Saturday we go out, we try to find some classic arcade games that we can play through some kind of emulation and tell some tales, uh, have some fun, live some good old nostalgia, and, you know, all that good stuff you do whenever you talk about arcade games on YouTube. Anyways, uh, we are coming back into this, Elevator Action Deluxe. Uh, the last week we did the arcade version down here of Elevator Action, and I said next we were going to come back in. I may not have even said it, but now I'm going to say it. we're going to do this. We're going to go through the story mode, which I think I may already have a game going on. Oh, this is pre mission rehearsal time to check out those cobwebs get... Yes, that's right. So you take it in stages. I forgot about this. Yes, you go down through the whole stages of the building. And see, there's different types of buildings, too. I forgot all about this. Man, it's been a long damn time. Let's select character. Uh, player one, yeah. Player two, ooh, she's fancy. It's player one, player two. Well, of course, we're doing elevator action, so we're just going to keep with... Uh, the good old um, blonde spy with the brown pants and the red sports coat. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but this is pre-mission rehearsal. Time to shake off those cobwebs and get up to speed. So let's go ahead and try this. This is the tutorial. It's got a time limit of 10 minutes. All right, why not get close and you can uh, melee attack. That's something new. Oh, what's that sound? This is the final check before the mission begins. All right, so there's a gun. There's a jump. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the way he runs. Elevators move automatically, but can be controlled from inside by tilting the left stick up and down. Or, you know, I'm not using the stick, I'm using the directional pads. Escalators can be used by tilting the left stick up. Uh, note, you can only use the escalators when you're standing on a mat. Okay. That's pretty neat. Blue doors can be entered by tilting the left stick up. Uh, exit the exit by tilting left stick down. Doors turn black once exited. Black doors can't be entered. I didn't see that. Doors can be openly can open forcibly by pressing the circle or square buttons. Time it right to knock enemies flying. This is where I remember doing that to the enemies. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, the secret documents you seek are behind red doors. Be sure you don't miss any. Let's go get them. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of those doorknobs. All right, there's a bad guy down here. What's going to happen here? Uh, press circle or square buttons to fire your gun. Guns are very effective in dealing with enemies, blocking your path. God, how slow these damn bullets go. <laughs> oh, my God. These bullets are so slow. Oh, shit. Wait, let's try some melee. Maybe we should try this way. This is effective in dealing with enemies without being noticed. Oh, oh wow, I, I did, I hit him. Okay. Nice. Alright. What is that, a flak jacket? Doors with icons, hide items, and other surprises. Don't forget to check these outs. All right, well, that's a machine gun. Oh my god, I forgot about this too. This is insane. I got 60 bullets in the machine gun. Oh my god. Man, I forgot all about this stuff. Bombs, is that a bomb? Okay. You can only carry a single bomb. Press triangle button to use it. You can you can get caught in a blast and be careful. Ah, you see, look, you put the bombs against the, wind, the doors or the walls. You hear me? Oh shit. Holy hell. All right, so apparently I should probably go into a... Uh... And I lost my machine gun. Oh, I don't want to go back and get it. You can control traps while... You can... Blah, blah, blah. You can control traps inside buildings by tilting the left stick up. There are all sorts of different traps to discover. Uh, I didn't know what to do with it there. All right, so... Does it come down on its own, or does it... Once you have all the documents, get out of there. Tilt the left stick up to ride the escape elevator and flee the scene. 
Hurry the mission and it will end in failure if you don't escape within the time limits. Get to the exits. Well, we still got like six minutes, dude. I'm alright. And then there's my car. Oh, yeah. Check me out. Mission complete. Now, see, is, is this or is this not cool as hell? I mean, is this... Uh, this is the best way that I can tell you to remake a classic arcade game. You know, some guys, they will remake classic arcade games and they will try to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Have it be the same old classic gameplay. You know, you can even do it like that where it's the same kind of style, just, you know, there's a little bit extra stuff. Oh my god, look at my rank, 3,985. <laughs> god, I'm even worse on that one. What is the one I got a gold medal here? A frontal assault, a suicide, hey, what does that switch do? 3,200. Huh. That's what that one gold medal was. There was some gold medal thing, uh, we'll talk about it later. Succeed in under 30 seconds. Wow. First, a warm-up test. Our enemy has not yet noticed us, but stay alert. The guards are armed. It's a three-minute time limit. Best time is one minute, 12 seconds. Maximum reward is 22,000. All right. Well, we ready to do this? Let's try this. I don't remember this. I don't remember how to do it. I'm terribly sorry to have kept you waiting. We desperately need... We desperately need you for a top-secret mission. Information has reached us that a shadowy international crime syndicate is developing a doomsday device in order to take over the world. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at all these assholes. Holy crap. Your mission is to infiltrate buildings linked to the syndicates. Retrieve secret documents prevent the development of the doomsday device and save the world there is no time to spare you must depart immediately good luck all right see there's a story to it too which is really really neat all right 30 seconds huh seriously can you do this in 30 seconds that'd be insane I'll crush him! I missed him. I don't know if I can do this in 30 seconds. I'm not gonna be able to do this in 30 seconds. Shit. I'm not gonna be able to do this in 30 seconds. Ooh. Come on. Come on, let's make this quick. Nope, I'm, I've already lost. I already missed the uh, 30 second mark. Oh, look at this guy in the red. Oh, I've got health, too. Are you kidding me with the health? That was about 44 seconds. No, 43 seconds. Holy shit. I got a bronze medal for it. <laughs> In-game rewards, time bonus, stealth bonus, peace bonus. Oh, I can get a peace bonus. Okay, total reward is 18,500. Sure, why not? That's kind of neat. So let's do the next one here. Um, red security guards can be trouble. Don't let them see you. All right. Uh, stage two. What, what's the uh, succeed without being detected by an enemy? Ooh, that sounds rough. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Succeed without being seen by an enemy. And then, of course, you can tell we uh, we didn't make it all the way to the basement either. So they like they like cut the whole game in half, you know. What's this guy gonna do? Yeah, that's right. Knock that bitch out. But knock this bitch out too. <laughs> oh shit. Oh! Wait for it. Oh, man! Oh, come on with the elevator. Can I fall down? I bet you I can't fall down. That's alright. Alright, let's see how good we are. Come 
come on. Oh. Alright, let's all right, let's wait till this guy comes and and because we're gonna do the door thing on him. Are you ready? Come on, come on, let's do it. Come on. Oh yeah, what's up? Oh man, I can't go down there. I can't go down there because that dude. Come on. Damn it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did I get a gold for this? You gotta be shitting me. Did I get a gold? Oh, I was close on a time. I only had like a minute and a half left. New completion time and I got the gold. Succeed without detect being detected by an enemy. Hey, come on now. How good is that stuff? A new secret document has been added to the agent dossier. So we'll go look at that. This is kind of cool, but you kind of see how this goes. You know, there's all different kinds. You see where I stopped. I stopped there. I got so much more to play on that. Holy crap. Down here in the agent dossier, these are kind of cool. Um, I think they're arcade cabinets made by Taito. Uh, so this is soccer. What's this look like? Yeah, Taito's, uh, Titronics? Is that what that is? Wow. Soccer. I have never seen that, nor have I ever played that before. Dude, that's pretty neat. And then I think there's another one, uh, this Western Gun, which just looks cool as hell. Look at the John Wayne on the bottom there. And, uh, oh, who's the one at the top? I know I've seen the movie, but I can't think of what that is. Oh, shit. I can't think of what that is. I've never played that game before either. Look with the dual joysticks. It's like it's got a joystick and it's got a, there's like a, is that a movement stick? I wish it had the years on that because I wonder what the hell year that is. Look at that damn cabinet. That's amazing. But yeah, I would love to open all the rest of these up so I could see all of these. Because there's, how many of them? There's 50 of them. Holy crap. That's got to be amazing. Anyways, guys, there you go. Elevator Action Deluxe. There's a lot more going on in this game. There absolutely is. Uh, you got story mode, multiplayer, competitive mode, multiplayer. You know, I, it's just, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I don't know what the downloadable content is. I don't want to do that because the PlayStation Store and the PS3 is just broke as hell. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you very much for coming around checking this out. I know this isn't like a, an old classic arcade game. I know this was never in the arcades. But I said that one of the other things that we are going to play is some of the remakes, uh, some of the sequels that were made on different consoles. You know, just looking back on, on what has become of these old games. So, you know, if you, uh, if you, enjoyed, it, if you enjoyed it at all, uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. Uh, but until next week, I wish you all well on all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Save your quarters. And come back next time, where we will be going back to the arcades to find us some more classic arcade games that we can play. I have no idea what we're going to play next. Uh, I did say in the last episode that we were going to try to get our, uh, our main running. And I still haven't done that yet because I'm a lazy bastard. But I will get that going and we will uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So until next time, guys, you take it easy.